Hi everyone. Today we're going to go over our new DL Core update. So this is a design and functionality update uh, that we believe will greatly improve the user experience. Uh, this is something that you will need to have purchased a Deliver Logic design package to enable. Uh, but uh, right now we're going to go over how this works. So first off, we're just going to show you uh, a basic uh, site with a design package. So home page, here's our restaurants page. And remember there, there are options right now for one or two column. Right now this is set for two column on both the menu and on the restaurant page. So you see there's two columns for the restaurant and there's two columns once you <clears throat> open up the menus. So just keep in mind, you have all your links here. Um, you know, this, this toolbar will stay uh, across the, the user experience, um, but you all are very familiar with this. And now we're gonna, we're gonna go into the options to change this. So the first thing we'll do is log into our RDS Logic Admin Panel, and then we're gonna go to Site Settings. You'll see a new setting called DL Core Settings. So here, you're simply going to, uh, we're gonna go down these one by one and take a look what each of these options will do for you. So first off, the header layout. So this is basically how your header will be on every page. So right now we have custom on all pages. The next thing we're gonna do is DL Core on all except home. What this means is that your, and I'm going to save this, what this means is that your site will have the same landing page as it does now, and I'm going to do a hard refresh here. And you'll see that the home page is the same, but when I go to restaurants, you'll see this header bar has now changed. Um, we have the DL Core test here. And you just see that the header is a little different. There's some, some different functionality. All your options are now over to the side. Uh, this is very user friendly and mobile responsive, of course. Uh, there's a space to add your address here in the top corner. And then you have this little guidance bar. Uh, so this is gonna be the main difference. And you know this is just saying we're using the DL Core header bar throughout all pages except home. So if I go back to the home page, it's gonna look with the, the old custom header bar. So now the second option will be to actually turn DL Core on all pages. This will include your home page. So let's go ahead and save this. We're gonna go back out and do another hard refresh. And now you see, I have this whole new header bar here. It's, it's that same bar that you saw before um, on the interior pages, but now it's also on the home page, and uh, this is just a different look. So this is an option that you'll have. You'll notice the cart button here, and you see the option to, to slide out, uh, but everything else is the same as we go down. So that's gonna be your second option. Uh, now, so again, it, it, let's say you change this to one of these and, and something's wrong. What we did was to make this so nothing can be an emergency, you can simply flip back to custom on all pages, save, go, and your site will be back to where it was before the update. So what we suggest that you do is when you turn this on, you know, you go through, you check how it affected your site. Um, and then if there's an issue, you know, please just create a ticket and uh, you know, send it over to us. So oh, let's do this on all pages actually. So what you would do is if there's something wrong with your homepage now, you could just take an image of it, send it to us and um, you know, with a ticket and then turn everything back to normal. Then, then we'll play around with it, make sure everything works um, and you'll be able to re-enable it. But it should work uh, for most pages. So the next thing we're going to do is, is test using the logo or site name. So you'll see there's a logo here. 
Um, but right now we've decided to use the site name. So this is something if you have um, a strange shape logo, you'll be able to just use the site name. But if you want to use the logo, you can simply put the logo there, choose a file here. You see that we have directions on what kind of logo, uh, the, the size you'll need. Uh, so now we're going to change that DL core setting to have the logo uh, as the header. So right now you see it says DL core test. When I update this, now it actually has the logo for this brand that's uh, here in the file. So I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, now let's move down to the menu pages. So again, we went over uh, the menu pages um, and when we go into a menu right now, this is what our menu page looks like. So we're going to actually make an update for this. So instead of the menu page being two column, we're going to move that down to DL core. We're going to save this setting. Go back over, do a hard refresh, which I just hold down shift. And now you see the new DL core layout. So again, if you if there's an issue with that, you can simply go back in and change that back to one or two column or to the old style. Uh, now the restaurants listing page. So let's go uh, over to pick a restaurant. Oops. Let's go over to pick a restaurant. And this is our restaurants listing page right now. If we change our restaurant listings from two column to DL core, let's see what happens. Save this, do a hard refresh. And here is our new restaurants page. So again, if you see any issues with this, um, you'll be able to turn it back to the way it is now, um, but it should work for all sites. If you do have some custom coding in there, uh, that will affect this. Uh, so again, uh, you can simply take an image or a video, create a support ticket, and then turn it back to normal and, and nothing will have changed. So now let's go down into the editing color styles. And, and what I'm going to do while we do this is I'm going to just change this to site name, save that. So we're going to go back to just having the, from we're going to move this out and just put the site name in there. So you'll notice on this page, there are multiple items here that are colored. This is a color. Everything right now is black, uh, but we wanted to make this so you could customize this very easily on your own. So your primary button um, and background color. So let's go ahead and we're going to change this to a red. Make it real easy to see what this represents. Save that. And now we're going to refresh and see what happens here. So now you see all of these buttons have changed going all the way. Uh, any item that has a button will now be red. So you can match this to whatever color you want or customize it however you see fit and what works best for your design. So again, as I go through now and I select anything, you'll see all of these buttons are now this red color that I've set. So let's go back to the restaurants page. And then let's look at the primary text link color. So this is going to be all of your text. So right now you'll notice, and let's just jump into a menu. Right now you'll notice the text up here, the text here, and any of the, the main text um, is uh, representing in black. So we're going to go ahead and, and update that as well. And let's just make this blue so we can see the difference here. So we've saved that. We're going to go ahead and refresh. And now you'll see 
all this, all these link colors have now turned to blue. So we've also given you an option there. And then last, let's go down and look at the primary border color. So right now, this is black. You can see right here, you've got that little strip of black. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to make this like this funky bright green. And again, these could all be the same color, obviously. Uh, what I'm doing is just setting them all different so you can see how flexible we've made this for you. We're going to refresh. And now you see we have that little green line there for the highlighting. So really what this has done is uh, given you the ability to go through and customize how the consumer is going to see everything here. All right. Now last are the embedded sidebar pages. So everyone has different uh, items that they have on their sidebar. So right here. Uh, you'll see these are the sidebar items. And then down here, you can edit. So if I want to remove hotels and add a contact us page, and of course you can manage those in the site editor. Um, but now when I do a hard refresh and I pull that out, you'll see there's a contact us page and the hotels page is gone. So this really, I mean, it really gives you the ability and I can, you know, if I only want a gift certificate page, save it, hard refresh, pull this out and there we go. Of course, there are some items that will stay there no matter what, um, but you also have the flexibility to add additional pages there. Please keep in mind that you can select all, none, or any of these uh, options when using DL Core, <clears throat> and that we will be updating and adding more options for flexibility, uh, but it will follow this same structure and be in the same area. We hope you enjoy this new feature. Uh, thanks so much.